hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here today if you're a returning subscriber thank you for continuing to support this channel i don't take it for granted and if you're a new subscriber welcome on board i really do hope you love it here if you're just hopping on my channel for the first time i hope you enjoy the content enough to subscribe like share the videos all of that good stuff so guys today we're looking at a new one in my collection this is musk noir rose hope you can see the bottle clearly this is by narciso rodriguez for her it's musk noir rose it's a new one in the narciso rodriguez um collection let's just look at how it sprays beautiful atomizer I love the blush pink color. I love the bottle. I love the simplicity. I love the cap. It reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. It's really pretty. It's well um, put together in terms of how the bottle presents or how it looks. I really, really like very simple but classy, sophisticated packaging. So it gets me on that one. Now, how is this fragrance described? The main accords here are vanilla, musky, fruity, the sweet rose powdery, tuberose, white floral, soft, spicy, and citrus. And this is one time where I really agree with the accords of the fragrance because everything indicated here I get from this fragrance. In terms of the notes at the top, there's plum, pink pepper and bergamot in the middle there's musk rose and tubers and at the base there's just vanilla i like the note structure it's very it's very simple you know in my opinion there are not too many notes fighting for attention but there are some notes that could get a bit challenging so like tubers if you're not a tubers lover um this may get a bit challenging for you um, I haven't really smelled plum. I don't know. I've seen it in other perfumes, even though I can't remember which. But it's not a note that I come across too often. So I was interested to see how this would play out in the fragrance. All right. So how do I feel using this? Before I continue, um, I'm filming this at home and there's uh, we're having some power supply issues. So there's a generator noise in the background that you might hear. Apologies for that if it disturbs you. I'll try and get through this really quickly so we don't have to deal with that for too long. All right, so back to the review. Now for Narciso Rodriguez uh, Musk Noir Rose. Wow, I really do love this. I think this is a masterpiece. So I have Narciso Rodriguez. I have Narciso Pudre, sorry, and then I have Narciso Rodriguez for her, the one in the pink bottle, you know. So I've got those two, and I quite enjoy them, but I enjoy the Pudre a lot more. I really like that skin scent feel. I like the musk. I just like the way that it feels on my skin. It just feels like, you know, I have, like, I'm a, I have a nice skin scent as opposed to you know overpowering perfume on so i like that and i was very very curious to know how this would play out on my skin now this one starts very zingy i guess it's the bergamot that would be responsible for that you know so the bergamot the pink pepper those are very um very zesty zingy spicy type of um notes and so it does start off that way a bit sharp to the nose but very quickly starts to go into the mid where you have the musk in fact the musk for me makes an appearance just as the top notes are making their 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 appearance as well so um i love that i love the zinginess i love that it just gives a very uplifting feeling i know that i get tuberose from this fragrance that much to be honest i don't really i mean you can't compare the way the tuberose is um done here to maybe the likes of Giorgio Armani My Way. I wouldn't say that the tuberose is that potent in this one. Um, I also can compare it to the tuberose in 
la femme prada i mean the intense version i believe that has tubers as well i won't compare the tubers in those fragrances to this one i believe this one just has a teeny weeny touch of tuberose maybe to enhance the florals a bit but i loved it anyway i loved the musky feel um with the z the zesty opening is really nice and comforting and just really sensual i loved it i was in love with it at first sniff see how far i've gone i've gone this far and i've not had this for up to a week so you can imagine i literally spray like you know a body splash that's how good this is honestly for me this is very this is the epitome of like understated femininity it's just so soft and clean and you know floral because the rose of course comes through in the middle and then the vanilla at the base just warms things up and makes it very very um cozy and very inviting i love this i really really do love this one it's just for me like a very um it's a very feminine very simple very versatile fragrance you literally can wear this anywhere at any time as far as i'm concerned i would wear this to work i'll wear it to church i'll wear it to go run my errands i would wear it at night if need be because it has it has that cozy sensual feel that would do well at night i wear it to sleep in fact this has become like my go-to sleep fragrance or bedtime fragrance so i mean the house of narciso rodriguez really really got it right on this one it's a very good quality fragrance it can layer well in my opinion with even other fragrances from that house so i can imagine pairing this with my um narciso rodriguez pudre if i wanted to just amp up the musk factor i could pair this with chloe or the perform if like i wanted to add a little more rose and vanilla musk to it so i feel like it's that versatile you know where you literally can layer it with anything if you want to amp up like the musk or the um the rose in it i really love this fragrance i i i don't have enough words to describe it but i just know that this one was done right makes me feel feminine makes me feel sexy while being understated and it's a love for me i can't wait to finish this bottle and get another one quite frankly i feel like this won't last long because the the way that i've been going at it oh my goodness i also feel like this would be very good in summer winter like it would transcend um seasons to be honest because it has the lightness the airiness that would allow it to be good for summer but it also has that musky vanilla comforting essence that will make it good for use in the cold season as well so i feel like this is really really good and um if you have it i would really love to know how you feel about it if you're in love with it the way that i am because this is a 10 over 10 for me and if you haven't you know if you don't have it and you can get your nose on it i'll i'll really recommend that you do i think it's one that if you like roses if you like musky fragrances you're most likely to love this one all right guys till we see you again on another video thank you for staying with me through this one and do have a beautiful week ahead bye